Hello there, Brick Fanatics. Right, let's talk about space. We finally have a good look at LEGO Collectible Minifigures Series 26. Uh, and while yes, pictures of these minifigures have been floating around on the internet for quite a while now, we can finally definitively say that they are coming very soon. Oh, before we go too far into this video, don't forget to give it a like because a thumbs up genuinely helps the channel to reach a larger audience. Also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you've not already done so. Thank you in advance. Most collectible minifigure series, with the exception of those that are based on a specific brand IP, tend to be eclectic and wild and just have whatever cool ideas that the LEGO group can throw in there. This time around, with a specific focus on space and on sci-fi and on aliens in particular, we get a really deep dive down into this one particular genre. With that comes the opportunity to revisit several big key themes from the history of the LEGO group, because space has always been at the forefront of LEGO, basically since the start, and it's always been explored in different interesting ways. And here we have a few minifigures that are paying homage to that legacy. So we've got a pink space baby along with Android Nanny, which continues the theme of taking that classic Spaceman minifigure uh, and doing them in different colours, but then also now doing them in little baby form. That's great if you're particularly into the classic space theme. And interestingly, that's the only time that this series of collectible minifigures really touches on that classic space theme, with the exception of a logo showing up somewhere else. But that's not all. We've also got a tribute to Ice Planet. Check out this cool transparent chainsaw piece. That's very nice. And a colour scheme that is very familiar for anybody who was big into the Ice Planet. And then, of course, a lovely little cyborg robot penguin here. Then, of course, we've got Blacktron 2, but this time mutated and weird and just kind of a bit unsettling in all of the best ways. Mtron also gets a reference. And, as said, classic familiar space logo. And that's about it. And that's an interesting choice, given that this entire series is devoted to space. We've not got more callbacks, and you could have very easily had this entire series just be references to the past. We could have had 12 nostalgic minifigures that all of them uh, pay tribute to some particular different theme from LEGO's history and absolutely not run out of ideas. Indeed, when rumours of the list of these minifigures originally began surfacing online, I made the mistake of assuming that there were going to be a few more references that there actually are. For example, uh, I heard about an insectoid-ish minifigure and assumed it was going to be insectoids, which is one of those delightful themes that uh, has very heavy use of transparent pieces. Oh, I do. I love insectoids. I'm not quite as much, though, as I love UFO. And there's another of these minifigures, which is a UFO minifigure, and I had hoped against hope that that was going to be a classic UFO Lego minifigure, again, because that is probably my favourite design of any Lego space minifigure. Absolutely adore the kind of skull-like helmet on some of these guys. They're just gorgeous. You know how some LEGO YouTubers have like an entire wing in their house devoted to LEGO and they've just got sets everywhere and they can do entire videos, an entire series of videos just showing off all of the cool neat things in their collection that no one else has got? Well this is what's in my collection and this is about it. I've got this one minifigure and I just adore him and he's basically all that's left at this point because everything else has been scattered to the four winds because this stuff is meant to be played with and I played with this stuff as a kid and so it's all gone now. <laughs> I apologise for not being the kind of LEGO fan that then collects everything that they had as a kid and more as an adult, because I don't know if you know this, some of this old LEGO is very expensive now. So yeah, I would have liked a brand new UFO or a brand new insectoid minifigure, and I know, woe is me, boo hoo hoo, but there is an interesting question to be raised about how the LEGO group goes about approaching nostalgia, because there are certain points of nostalgia that tend to be revisited more often than not. Space as a whole we come back to fairly often, and indeed the classic space minifigure, as mentioned, is one of those ones that just never seems to go away. The LEGO group having discovered, I think post the LEGO movie, that people really enjoyed Benny the Spaceman and all things uh, kind of from that era. They've really, really kind of tacked onto that particular moment in LEGO space and have milked it for 
rule that it is worth to the point where for this space themed minifigure collection they've really only got a tiny bit of it left that they can justifiably get away with because we've got basically every colour of space figure that we could possibly ask for. I mean, the last one they did was brown, and you know when you're doing the brown one that you run out of all of the primary colours and indeed secondary colours that make up the rainbow. That's not to say that there aren't other colours we could have had, but it's clear that a conscious decision was made here to limit the amount of retro nostalgia that we get across all of these space minifigures. And there's nothing wrong with doing new things. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have new interpretations of Lego Space Aliens. Uh, it's just interesting the specific themes that they've chosen to highlight here with these and the ones that have been left on the cutting room floor. Blacktron has shown up recently in a gift with purchase set. It's something that the Lego group has revisited. A Blacktron 2, I've got to say, this is probably one of the cooler nostalgic minifigures in this series. Um, I just love the kind of the mutant look of it and the, the twist on the formula. With Mtron, it's not quite as different to what we used to have uh, for the actual Mtron sets back in the day. Uh, so it's not quite got that same uh, kind of extra level of flavor that we get with this Blacktron 2 one. Ultimately, while it is perhaps a little bit disappointing that we don't have more nostalgia on display here, as said, some of the original ideas are fairly neat. We've got a kind of men in black type tiny alien with a robot avatar body. We've got uh, this fellow with a whisk, always love a whisk. And we've got uh, potentially my favourite of the whole lot, this uh, alien tourist, which is just delightful. I suppose one of the good things about the LEGO Group not going too hard with nostalgia in this particular series is if they ever choose to revisit space again, they'll have lots of other opportunities to just dive deep into the waters of nostalgia. And potentially if these do well, we might end up, who knows, maybe, maybe we could see another series of these in future, in which case we might finally get that UFO minifigure that I am so desperate for. But then what do you think about all of this? Which of these minifigures are you going to be picking up? Which of these minifigures do you think may be disappointed? Are there any nostalgic themes that you would have liked to see included here that just didn't make the cut? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure that if you are going to be making a lego.com purchase in the near future that you use the affiliate link which is down in the description or the QR code which is currently on screen. Doing so just gives us a little bit of a kickback when you make that purchase. Make sure that you go to brickfanatics.com for all of your lego news and reviews and make sure that you sign up to our newsletter so that you never miss anything LEGO related ever again. Thank you very much for watching.